So one of the things we learned by watching John Dalton and his totems is that he unified all his recycled objects by using similar colors. And in this case, we're going to use what's called a monochromatic color scheme. And monochromatic means one monochroma color. So monochromatic is one color plus tints and shades. So you are going to go to the supply table and you're going to pick up a palette of one color. In this case, I chose red. And then I have tints, which is going to be white. And I have black, which is going to be my shades. I also have a color mixing palette to set off to the side. And I have a very fine tip brush, not too big. All right. So before I get started, I am looking at my design and I want it to go from dark to light. So I want it to gradually darken to light or graduation to light up to the top of my totem. Middle. And that's where I am going to paint my solid or my purest color. So I'm going to pick up some red and I'm going to carefully fill in my purest color. And it doesn't have to be red, it could be whatever color you chose for your team. All right, so that's my middle. Had I had 10 shapes on there, I would have just chose one of the top or the bottom. All right, so now that I've got my pure color in place, I'm gonna start with the white or the tints because that's a little bit easier to use. So notice that I am going to move this way. Now, boys and girls, you don't need to mix all your paints together at once. Well, I grabbed a second palette so that I could mix separately so I can save my paint. So what I'm gonna do is pick up a little bit of paint, scoop it up, stick it over here in my mixing palette, and then I'm gonna scoop up a little bit of white. That way I don't use up all of my paint at once and I'm really conserving how much paint I'm using. So I'm just gonna mix it so it's a solid color and if you didn't know by now, white and red make pink. So I've got a nice color tint of pink right now. And I'm just gonna paint my next shape on my totem. Okay. Now, the next one needs to be lighter, so I'm once again, I'm going to pick up a bunch of white, and I'm just going to add to that mixing palette that I already have with the extra white, and notice that it's visibly lighter, okay? So I want it to be lighter than what I had, and I can see that. If it wasn't enough, then I would add a little bit more, and I'm just going to paint my next tint right above it, just like that. using black is that a little bit of black goes a very long way so you won't need to scoop up as much black every time you want to shade a red so I'm going to start again with a new puddle of paint stick it over here and then I'm going to pick up and look how little bit I just have a little tiny bit not that much on there okay because a little bit of black will go a long way and I want it visibly darker so let me paint that, and that is a little bit darker. Mm, maybe I'll add a little bit more. A little bit darker than my original red. All right, adding a little bit more black, not too much. And there's my. Now, the changes in the color variation, the tints and shades, are going to be very gradual, as you can see. All right, so there you go. I've got really dark shadows or sh a dark shade of red. Gradually getting lighter as we move up. We get to the middle, we have our purest color. And then towards the top, we lighten with tints towards the top. So it should go from very dark to very light. Now that I'm done, I'm going to clean off my brush. Dirty brushes go into the hot tub for dirty brushes. My palettes can be thrown away in the lined garbage can. And then my, my design, better make sure you have your name on it. You've got to write that. And your class code. And that, my friends, can be stored 
on the drying rack. Perfect. 